Now imagine you woke up tomorrow with no income, no job, no income producing assets, no money, completely broke. But here's a catch, you don't even wanna get a job, you wanna start a business. You've been thinking that, you know what, jobs aren't for me, I go from one job to another, I can't hold one down, and I just need to work for myself. I need to just run a business, something that makes me money. What do you do? What do you do if you're broke? Now, this is a question that is asked so many times. So today, I'm actually going to explain step by step what I would do if I was in that position. Now, let's get into it. Welcome back. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dominic. I talk a lot about personal finance, social media marketing, and entrepreneurship. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about what I would do if I was broke and some tips for you if you're broke right now and you're trying to make some money. Now, the one thing I like about the word broke is that it just means like you're temporarily broken, but it's something that can be fixed. It's not something that's permanent. So first and foremost, if you're in that position, don't worry you can get out of that but out of that position by doing a few things differently all right that might be down to some of your habits that might be down to you know spending habits your discipline your ability to hold down a job or if your business is just not working or someone has created another business and they've just literally just taken over the market and all your competitors have gone to that business whatever the situation might be this video is for you because if you're broke right now and you have zero money coming in you have no assets you have no savings you have literally zero in the bank there's still opportunity there's still things you can do now if you're not subscribed the first thing I want you to do is hit that subscription button right there and turn the post notification bell on and if you're already subscribed welcome back thank you for rocking with me now, if I was broke, honestly, I wouldn't consider doing so many of these online things that you've seen, you know, being promoted and all these things that gurus online talk about. You know, respect to all these online marketers and entrepreneurs out there, but going into something like, you know, selling online, selling products online, where, you know, you buy something from a manufacturer or a supplier, it's going to cost you money. So if you're really broke and have no money, how would you go and do that? You would have to go and do that maybe on a credit card. But then what if you can't sell those items back fast enough to clear that debt and your credit card has now, you know, got interest that's due. You're missing payments. It's just a, it, it begins to look like a shit show, right? Because you could get products, you could go and design a website, you can try and do it yourself, it probably will look not the best like if you're not a website designer and if you don't have any money to pay for a website designer who can understand how to you know um, like make it look like aesthetically pleasing to someone that would make them want to buy you're going to be in like a bad problem and a worse problem that you began with because not only have you just started you know a business maybe on a credit card but you've got no guarantee that you're going to sell any of these products. So I would put that to one side. Now, the same applies for dropshipping because yeah, okay, you might not need to go and buy the products. You just need to design your website and then you need to arrange, you know, the arrangement with the supplier that look, I'm not gonna be buying them, but as someone orders, I want you to, you know, process the order, etc., and deal with the logistics side. You still need to invest in marketing. Now, the nickname of marketing is marketing, meaning that it costs money, a lot of money, all right? So if you're going to start a dropshipping site, guess what? You're gonna to need to be good at Facebook ads. You're gonna to need to understand Google retargeting. You're gonna to need to understand display ads. All these things cost money. You're gonna to need to also understand email marketing. Do you have money for a copywriter to write you good emails? Mm, maybe not. So. I would say drop shipping, put that to the side also. Now all the other things you see online, some of them, yeah, some of them might work, some of them might not. But 
if you're for example trying to start on Instagram and you don't have a substantial amount of following then you might not get the sales you need to make money to cover the bills so I know you're wondering right now okay so what do I do what do I do Dominic what do I do this is what you do now you need to start thinking what service can I sell or what type of information can I sell that I know maybe just a bit more than the average Joe blogs does that make sense so let's say for example I oh don't know you're 25 now most of my audience is between 25 to 34 based on my analytics so I'm talking to people like you right now now let's say you're 25 but you went to a college and you went to university maybe okay not everyone but maybe you did and you studied I don't know computer science and in computer science you learnt some basic skills on coding now the information you learned on coding was so basic but you still have some of these books left on I don't know you know your mum's you know attic they're still there and you can refer back to them if you need them now what I would do is sell information based on how to code for beginners as an example you can create a very short ebook you can literally write it up yourself right of like 10 to 20 pages or you can do a small video tutorial and this is what you can also do you can create like a, some graphics and you know like something to cover your ebook on canva.com completely free and you can go ahead and start selling that ebook and you can sell it for 20 pounds 30 50 100 depends on the quality of information that's in there how well written it is how beneficial it is and if when someone's read it they can actually apply some of the solutions in there and go out and make money that's what i would do i would start thinking of what information could i sell let's say for example another scenario let's say for example you were a nutritionist or you were a personal trainer and you knew a lot about diet and food you can go out there and sell information one-to-one -one coaching and all you need to use is something like acuity scheduling calendly.com and you can go out and sell one-to-one -one advice on nutrition for a better body how to get six-pack abs in 90 days how to eat right for muscle gain all this information people will buy they'll buy it from you directly so you could set up like a zoom conference or they will buy it from you by you selling like a course or an ebook people generally buy information so start thinking what do I know a bit more than the next person because I either studied it or I am just passionate about that subject and I know a lot of information about it or you've done it like as a volunteer like let's say for example you trained your mom or you trained your friend before they went on holiday just because you are fit and you're known as the person who's got stamina and you keep your body shape and you tell them for example I think you should run five kilometers every other day and do some HIIT workout for example every other day and try to reduce your calorie intake by you know having less you know not don't have 500 calories per day like cut that out of your diet right and have instead of 2500 2000 what do you think is gonna happen they're gonna start trusting you when they see results does that make sense now the moment they see results and you get testimonials of them being happy you're in business because other people are going to want the same results now you could charge people a hundred pounds plus for this type of information so that is what I mean by if you're broke start thinking what information can I sell that another person needs and you know may not know how to get access to it or they may like be willing to just pay you directly money okay now I know there's someone out there right now thinking well that's not typically actually a business Dominic that's self-employment so you've got a point because a business is something which works with or without you so I give you that you need to have a system in place so you can go on holiday and your money is still working for you and people are buying but if you remember I actually said 
you could sell courses and one-to-one -one coaching. So on Acuity Scheduling or on Calendly.com, you can set the time you're away or you can put the time you're there to accept calls. So that's you exchanging your time for money. So that's a bit of self-employment. But if you're selling books or you're selling a course online, guess what's gonna happen? You could be sleeping, someone could be making an order online on, I don't know, teachable.com. Or, for example, you could be on holiday and someone decides to buy your course. What does that mean? Your business is working with or without you. So you're actually in business. So that type of business model is a mixture of business and self-employment because as you see is as you can see you've got like your business which is working around the clock and self-employment which is based on you exchanging your time by giving that one-to-one -one advice so that is what I mean of selling us information now the next few things I'm about to go into are about services but before I do so I also know there's someone out there thinking well I've got a great idea and it's amazing, it's, it can make me loads of money because no one's doing it, it's got a unique selling point, I've got a business plan, I even did my accounts and the forecast and it looks like it could be a cash flow positive business. I know there's someone out there watching this thinking, you know, they're clued up and they've got the best invention. Guess what, you could have the best invention, you could have plans to get it into all of the local supermarkets, all the local um, electronic stores, curries, Best Buy, Target, Sainsbury's, Whole Foods, wherever. But guess what, it takes time, right? So if you're actually broke and you have no money and you need it tomorrow, ASAP or the day after, you could spend six hours doing the things I just mentioned, building an ebook, e building a course, sending those messages on WhatsApp, sending them on Instagram, sending them throughout your whole network and try and get a sale. But if you try to create a new invention of a new product or you try to like reverse engineer something that's already there and try and remake it, it's gonna take you time. Then you're gonna to need to raise funding. You're gonna to need to get like capital. You're gonna to need to go and try and get a VC, so a venture capitalist who's gonna back your idea. That is gonna take time. You need to create a presentation. You need to create a business plan. You need to show your year on year growth. You need to then advertise, market, try to find investors, probably go networking. You need to also get a PR person, branding person, and start building a minimum viable product. Building an MVP when you're broke, I would be just vexed, I would be so annoyed. So it doesn't really make sense to go down that route, does it? Because it's gonna take you a lot of time. And even after you've created this idea, you've presented it and you've got, let's say for example, 500K from a VC, or you, for example, done Series A and series, series B funding and you've raised a lot of money, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna be employed in your business and yes, you might be a shareholder, but your shares will be probably reduced because you've given away some to other investors and you're gonna be on a salary. So you're gonna maybe get a dividend, you're gonna get, an in, you're gonna get you know, your salary, um, you're gonna have to cover your expenses, etc. through the business, but you're not gonna be earning tens of thousand dollars. It's just not gonna happen. But if you sell services, this is what you can do. All right, so I already covered information and selling information. I already told you why I wouldn't go out and just create a new idea and because it would take six months to a year. Now I'm gonna tell you about services you could actually sell, all right? Now, I'm actually gonna put up this meme that I saw online because it's so true, right? There's skills out there that pay you a lot of money, but you don't need to have all the skills. So don't panic. Now, if you're liking this video so far, can you do me a favor and smash that like button? Right, now, let's say for example, you wanted to sell a service like social media marketing. So managing the ads for a company or doing copywriting, so writing emails, helping them with their landing page and drafting you know, various documents that are beneficial to a client so they can sell more of their products. Now, these skills that I've just mentioned, people pay a lot of money for. Now, other skills such as like UX design, um, website development, all these type of skills, they co like companies pay a lot of money for them. Now, 
don't worry i know you're thinking but i don't have all these skills there's people out there who are willing to work and deliver on certain outputs and you can still make a profit margin so what i mean by that is you could start a business in the social media marketing space or in email marketing space or in website development as an example or coding html c whatever you can set up a business in this space and not be an expert because if you actually think about it there's numerous business owners out there who don't have a clue about certain processes in their business now look at richard branson he owns loads of companies he's got virgin airlines he's got virgin trains he's got virgin um the gym the virgin gym i can't remember what's called virgin fitness that's it he's got so many companies out there but guess what he's not a personal trainer i highly doubt he could fly an a330 um i highly doubt that he um understands everything about fit like he just doesn't but you employ good people who can perform these services and that's how you have a business so you could start a business in the social media marketing space okay and sell yourself to clients and help them get results and make money from it so let's say for example you decide to start a SMMA you reach out to business owners telling them that you've done an audit on their business and you've seen some glitches and you believe you can help them by converting more traffic into customers by doing the following now the moment that you get a call with them and you manage to secure them as a client and you charge them let's say 2k a month there's someone out there who would be very happy to deliver the Facebook ads on behalf of your agency for 300 to 500 pounds a month that means you can pocket a thousand five hundred pounds in profit now I've actually got a video that I've done on how I got a client on Upwork within 24 hours and it was in 24 hours they paid I think it was about a thousand pounds and this was like in 2018 so what I'm trying to say is you can do this too I did this in 24 hours I was fairly new in the digital marketing space but I managed to make income from it so what I'm trying to say is you need to start thinking of supplying services that are in demand that people need business owners really need if they need it they're gonna buy it so get on it now the platforms I would recommend when you're doing this is Upwork, Freelancer.com, Fiverr.com so if you're thinking of something in the digital marketing space start there but if you're thinking of something in the consulting space there's other websites as well you should be considering because if for example you're a project manager or you have another type of skill set there's other platforms that might be more beneficial such as linkedin.com you can become a subject matter expert and literally gain the attention of people by becoming like the authority in your space by just posting on linkedin religiously having a clear plan I'm going to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday and I'm going to talk about project management for organizations. I'm going to talk about operations and operational efficiencies that can help scale your business. The moment you do that, honestly, you have business owners thinking this person knows what they're talking about. Let me hire them for £300 or £500 a day. And what you can do from there is start saying, you know what, instead of me coming in, so a member of my team or a member of my agency Will be coming in to deliver that presentation and giving the business owner the reassurance to know that don't worry they are as good as me and they are as skilled as me because we have in our company a set standard our training program that everyone goes through by the time you've done that you now have a business because let's face it you've got for example now three or five people working in your project management or consulting business and they can help clients with outsourcing to another country that may be your skill set project management all right it, honestly the moment you hire three or five people and you train them to be as good as you you're in business you can step away charge clients a retainer fee of 5k a month and pay your staff i don't know let's say 2k a month 
you've made 3k obviously put away some for the tax man and some for yourself you're in business now that's just how it works so if i were you and i was dead broke right now if you're listening this, to this and i hope you're listening all the way to the end consider selling services or information all right i'm actually going to be writing a short blog on this and it will be on the ambitiousinvestor.com website so make sure that you pay attention to that website also because there's going to be tons of free content where i'm going to be helping you all gain more income monetize quicker on any platform and literally make more income by diversifying your income streams all right thank you so much for listening i hope that was beneficial and i'll see you in the next video take care peace